So the new one we picked up. What? Ooh. Maybe I didn't pick up any new ones. I thought I did. So we're missing two. Oh, the DLC ones are Fantasy Zone 2. Let's try that out. What's this fucking flying snowman penguins? I don't like that, you know, it drops like coins and the coins like all fall to the floor. The hell? Warp. Is that a coin? Shop. Uh, right, you pick up coins and you can get like new weapons and shit. It's like super expensive though. Stop going into it. You know what? I was gonna say, this little ship looks familiar. I think you get it as a, um... Oh, you know what? I do know these figures. I know that little square dude, too. Um... In the Shenmue series, you can get them as... A little snowman dudes too. <clears throat> you get him as um gotcha figures. Bullshit, dude. Dude, how long are these levels? Turtles aren't a figure though. The ship is. Those angry square dudes are. Pretty sure the little snowman penguin dudes are too. Where the hell are all the enemies at? I did not mean to go into that. Jesus, why are there so many guys? There's supposed to be like a specific warp one I'm supposed to go into or some shit. I'm so confused. I'm done because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing or like where I'm supposed to go. Okay, um, let's do Alien Syndrome. What? What the hell has this happened? So your gun doesn't go very far. Wow, that's bullshit. Sure, gun doesn't go very far. Oh, I still like go to these people. Oh yeah, it's like zombies ate my neighbors before the uh, 
sound. The door probably opens once you grab all the people. I know how big this fucking place was. Oh my god, really? Alright, I'm done with that. Next, global defense. I feel like we're the alien. Are we attacking, like, shooting at Earth right now? to like kind of aim because you you aim and fly like different heights and shit um I don't know what the fuck this is Sajia alright another shooting game Fireball. fish. Oh, I lost my shield. Oh god. No! Hit that thing. Oh, God. 
All right, we're done. We tried him out. Damn it, I'm stuck. Is she gonna hit us up or what? Don't you fucking shoot me, bitch. Really, guys? Who dropped this? You. Excuse me. Oh, so here, I might as well restock. Let me buy some waters just in case that works. Fucking Mountain Dew, bro. Arigato. your ass goose I'm popular This chick ain't hitting us up, so. Let's go back to Jinjo so we can see one of the other chicks. Oh, God. Uh, right. So, this is probably the squirrel. see anybody. I wonder how I get those. <laughs> this is a pharmacy, right? You guys that I don't have. Alpha, huh? Ooh, Omega. The ultimate drink to end all drinks. Oh, they only had one each? Oh, shit. What? If I don't got it, I'll I didn't buy it. Hey, we found another squirrel. I wonder if this squirrel doesn't come up to like the very end. Should I talk to this chick? Hi, again, Takuki san. Futaba chan. What brings you all the way out here? Did you find another squirrel? Yep, I spotted it moments ago. Oh, I know. Why don't we go see it together? Sure. Gotcha. Let's go see what we can find. Hooray! Big squirrels don't cry. Isn't there some street out here before? Oh, hey, this is the squirrel we saw when we first yeah. met. Yeah. Right? I remember that. To find its treasure, I need an extra pair of ears, so to speak. There it is. Got it. Fuck 
freaking acorn. Acorns. There are two of them. So, is there anything? Yeah. Well, I did find some acorns. Oh, wow, that's what the squirrels love the most. How nice. <laughs> there were two, so why don't we split them? After all, you're the one who found the squirrel first. Yay. Look at me, eating acorns like a squirrel. Thanks, Takayuki-san. Today's been yeah. a blast. Happy to hear it, Futaba-chan. It's fun finding treasure, isn't it? Heh, <laughs> yeah. Well, look at the time. I have to huh? go. Huh? That was sudden. Bye-bye, Takayuki-san. Don't catch cold out here. Ah. Oh. Hey, careful. Don't just run off like that. She really doesn't change, does she? Well, guess I'll see her around. So, I was on coming along. Hmm? Sorry. I'm talking about the squirrels, my boy. I've always been doing this treasure hunt, and let me tell you, these old feet of mine are none worse for the wear. <laughs> well, don't push yourself too hard. Gotta say, though, I'm intrigued by the style of these paintings. It's like they popped it right out of a children's book. Yeah, so it seems. Hmm. You ever wondered who's making all these? I wonder if it's a part-time part of some marketing campaign. Have you ever wondered Oh, I did that. Mayhaps. By the way, what was there? It's the treasure, I mean. Did you find anything? Yep. Found two acorns, but that's about it. Oh, and I gave one to the little girl who was helping me with the search. You should have seen how she smiled. I could tell she was a good kid. Acorns, you say? Well, I'll be. Heh, <laughs> you're a kind soul. Thank no. you. I don't need to thank me. I haven't done anything special. This is just a rumor, but I heard a storybook artist who draws these squirrels around huh? town. Oh, so these really are out of a kid's book? Indeed. You see, long ago, that artist had a frail and sickly daughter. The poor girl couldn't even get up out of bed, much less go outside and play. So, the artist who draws storybooks full of things his daughter liked to keep her entertained. She cherished those storybooks more than anything else, in fact. Her parents' voices got hoarse from reading them over and over. In spite of her worsening condition, she'd always say, I want to find treasure with the squirrels when I get better. But in the end, no such day came. From then on, whenever his daughter's memorial anniversary drew close, the artist would wander around town and draw his heart out. He would recreate his storybooks for all to see, regardless of whether anyone followed along. And that about sums it up. These squirrels and their silly antics are simply an artist's way of coping. I see. So that explains why they're such kind pictures. I suppose. But again, it's all just a rumor. Regardless, I imagine the artist might be happy to know that someone like you is enjoying his work. After all, what good is treasure that ends up rotting away unfound? Or, perhaps it was meant to be found by his daughter, somewhere in the world beyond. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Uh, here we go again. Every time you disappear from the studio, I always find you wandering out here. Didn't I say we had a meeting with the editors today? Fine, fine. My mistake. Sheesh. Got you later, son. Yep. Sure. I appreciate the story, old timer. Where are you going, Sinoji Sensei? It's this way. Oh, is it? You really are terrible with directions, you know what? Sino Sionji Sensei. Hello? Yagami san, do you have a spare minute? Yeah. I do. What's up? So, regarding the squirrels I said I looked into, I took up an old picture book at home. But unfortunately, I didn't find much in, clues, uh, in the way of clues. Though, I did find the author's name Kazuo Sayanaji. Did you end up finding anything on your mm. side? Well, let's just say I found a couple acorns. Huh? Acorns? What's that supposed to be? Yeah. Sorry, I'll explain it to you some other time. I knew the old guy was the author. It's kind of like, why show up, you know? Tell us that story. <laughs> so long, Futaba-chan. Maybe we'll find treasure again someday. Maybe in the next game. Bad fur day. Actually, you know what? That bad fur day? It's probably a reference to uh, Conqueror's bad fur day. I mean, it should be. It's got the same fucking title. It's a good game. I should play for you guys. Um, not the N64 version, though. I have the, uh, the remastered one. When I was a little kid, my parents wouldn't let me play that game. So I got it when I was older. For... What was the remaster on? It's on Xbox. I think it was the original Xbox. Yeah. 
bounce some flower titties, you know, the good stuff. Um, where the fuck am I going? Oh, I want to go to the 9-9. Nine -nine. I call it the 9-9, nine -nine, even though they don't. They call it 99. But, Brooklyn 99, so. Reference. I went the wrong way. I did not mean to do that. Damn taxi. I blocked my jump. So now that that's done. One of these cases sh one of these cases should unlock. I still don't know how to get her to talk to us some more. Really interesting. Um Is there a way to get night to turn into day? I don't know. Let me check. I mean, my fucking phone would turn on. Jesus. Um. Huh. Whoops. Damn it. I want to start the other date, I just don't know how. Maybe it's the head there. So one of the chicks is a school nurse. Nurse's office. Uh, this way. Just in case you guys are wondering how old the girls are, um, Emily, uh, the girl we dated originally, she's 24. The nurse we're gonna go talk to you right now. Hopefully, it triggers. Is 32. 
girl we haven't talked to yet is 23. And the chick in the fucking mascot costume is... 20. The youngin. Right, so this one should trigger... If we just go into the office, right? Maybe I have to walk into the school. Maybe there's a side case. You know what? Maybe I haven't done the side case yet because it involves her. Is there a sh There's no anvil, I mean, a uh, case out here though, is there? This isn't a Hayek Street. That's this street. Maybe I just have to go there and it fucking prompts. I wish it would just pop up and I'm gonna make fucking look for it. Uh, one more block. Hell yeah. I don't see anybody, dude. to search something? Uh, fuck. I 
don't know why it's not popping. The fuck? You know what? I don't know why it's not popping, but it's pissing me off. Get in the fucking cab. Ugh. Maybe it's not the right time of day or some shit. It's like afternoon. Alright, well fuck it. Let's do main story for now. Kata said, say, please don't speak. Your phone is com compromised by public security. What are you? Don't worry. I'll give it back to you after this. I'm sure it's bugged. And we wouldn't want anyone listening in now, would we? Thick we'll box. take a few laps around the block and then drop you back off at the hospital. Sorry, but we just need a bit of your time. Very well. Who are you people? We're just local detectives. But Kitakata Sensei is an acquaintance of ours. We know about Mitsuruku. And we know that five years ago, a man named Shinya Kawai mysteriously disappeared and died. I have no idea what you're saying. But you do. I know how this must come across right now. So I assure you, we aren't the ones posing a threat. Fine. What is it you want, then? All I want is the truth. In your own words. About Shinya Kawai. And how you carried out his murder. You're mistaken. I didn't do it. The other day you received a call from Kitakata Sensei, didn't you? He goes by the name Kawana now, and works as a handyman in Ijinsho. He made that call because we needed to confirm something. Confirm what? Whether or not you were being watched by public security. Public security, you say? Is she surprised at all, or maybe she already had a hunch? As it turns out, you are. Your cell phone is bugged. They can even use GPS to trace who's on the other end of the line. That kind of trace is only possible with cooperation from the cellular providers. Unless you're public security, who could pull something like that off in secret. They want to hit you where you're vulnerable. And that's what you are now, after Kuwana. Do you understand, Kusumoto-san? <sighs> you must really be something special. You were never in this job for yourself. It fell into your lap as your predecessors fell like dominoes. That's why you don't owe anyone anything. You're free of constraints. And Mitsuru-kun's tragedy even gained you public sympathy on top of it. Combine all that with a capable bureaucrat like you? There's no telling what you could accomplish. You're cleaning up house, tackling the revolving door problems. Things you know are the right moves, but with no regard for the consequences. I understand even the cabinet gauges your opinion, since you have so much public support. But I think that's also made you some enemies. Most likely whoever's holding public security's leash. I have more than a few enemies. I'm well aware of that. And I have no doubt public security would comply with them. To be quite frank, public security only exists to maintain the status quo. The establishment is made up of various powers which control politics and finance. 
But naturally, each branch has its own agendas, goals, ideas of justice, which leads to all sorts of issues and hindrances, which you call constraints. The more individuals who make up society, the more unavoidable that is. Are you implying it's public security's job to loosen those constraints? There's more to it than that. The world we live in requires all kinds of value systems to coexist, even in chaos. But if you loosen the constraints too far, the fall of the state is inevitable. In that regard, public security's role is to stabilize and maintain the state even while bound by constraints. In other words, the constraints of these powers are precisely what are protected by public security. So the fact that I am not caught up in all that does, indeed, make me something of a pesky foreign object. A pesky foreign object. I see. So to these establishment people, you're something to be excised. Hmm? I guess there's bullying among adults in high places, too. Yeah. Now we know why they were looking for any kind of weakness in you. And that's when they turned the spotlight on Shinya Kawai's disappearance. An event that was triggered by Akihiro Ohara's case. You know the one, I presume? Yes. An active duty policeman exacted revenge on the bully who drove his son to suicide. Your enemies must have heard that and thought to themselves, what would Reiko Kusamoto have done to her son's bully? I'm guessing that's what prompted public security to make their move. As the details of Ahara's case came to light, a group of thugs calling themselves RK started looking for Shinya Kawai, all to find out that he was kidnapped five years ago, probably killed. I never did anything out of revenge. Naturally, she doesn't. She wasn't going to divulge any secrets, having just met me. I don't have enough evidence to make her talk. Even after finding out Kawhi disappeared, public security still had to verify it. But if they found out you were involved, that'd be a win for them. They finally know Reiko Kusumoto's weakness. How long are you going to keep talking? As public security figured out, the bullying cases involving Toshiro Ihara and your son share a common link. That link being Sawa-sensei. She was Mitsuru-kun's classmate and Toshiro Ahara's teacher. Not only that, she was also linked to Ahara's murder victim, Ikoshima. She was his master teacher. So, not long after the murder, RK came to Ijincho and broke into her home. That must have been when they got Kawana's name out of her. I think Sawa-sensei suspected that Kawana was involved in Ikoshima's murder. Then Soma steps in, with his professional interrogation skills. Beat and scare her into spilling everything. Kusumoto-san, you knew she was killed, right? Kawana should have told you over the phone. Wait, are you not one of his colleagues? He said he wouldn't cause me any trouble, and that he would never call me again. Kawana and I are competitors on a temporary ceasefire. We're not colleagues. <sighs> She's been flustered since I mentioned Sawa Sensei's name. It's my chance to ask you questions I can't ask anyone else. How's your son doing now? He could wake up any minute now. Of course, that's been true for the last 13 years. I see. We transferred him to Toto University Hospital just this year hoping they could spur his recovery. But it turns out they don't do anything much different from the previous hospital. All I can do is wait. Has anybody from public security contacted you? Have you been approached by any strangers? I have my suspicions. What are their names? I imagine what they wanted was to exploit your weakness to control you. Because if all they wanted was to eliminate you, some kind of accident would be easily arranged. Yes. I suppose you're right. Do you have any idea what these people are after? Do you mind sharing? 
what they want is control of the pension fund, which is under the health ministry's jurisdiction. Pension fund? An independent agency within the ministry manages the national pension fund. It's taxpayer funded, and it's worth 160 trillion yen. What? And certain groups want to take bigger risks with that money in order to generate more profit. In other words, they want the health ministry to use taxpayer money to gamble. They believe that's the only way to rebuild Japan's faltering economy and secure the future of this country. I mean, would it work? Of course. If the gamble actually pays off. But if we lost the gamble, then we wouldn't be able to guarantee anything for the citizens of this country in their golden years. That's why the health ministry manages those funds conservatively. Even if it means the returns are lower. Okay. I'm starting to understand now. You do? Don't leave me in the dust, Yagami-san. To be able to gamble all this taxpayer money to save the economy, they need a change of management. And here's Kusumoto-san, head of the office. And she's beyond the control of even the ministers. Her position has the power to take action, to override the way the pension fund is managed. But not only does Kusumoto-san have the power, she has the support of the people. If a new vice minister were to try it, they'd be stopped cold by the constraints. So that's why they wanted to find her weakness and exploit it? Exactly. And if the 160 trillion yen gamble were to fail, can blame the whole thing on Kusumoto-san anyway. Okay. Oh, wow. 160 trillion. <sighs> I'm guessing they've already contacted you about it? That's an assumption. I have to ask you about Shinya Kawai. You killed him five years ago. With your own hands, didn't you? I understand what your feelings must be towards Kawhi, but was that really the only answer? If you've spoken to Kitakata Sensei, then you must know about the video of how Mitsuo was treated. I do. Aside from Kawhi, the other students pretended like nothing happened. They took no responsibility. They put on their sad faces. And they came to visit Mitsuru at the hospital. But looking back on it now, I don't think they really wanted Mitsuru to wake up. In fact, that's what they were checking on. And what did I do? I bowed my head and thanked them. It was only later that Kitakata sensei showed me the video. That's when I knew that those kids going unpunished was wrong. And your solution was to pull them into the quagmire? Make them accomplices in murdering Kawhi? If you already know so much, what more do you need to ask? I get it now. Let me reiterate. We are not your enemy. Then please, let me go. Anything you want me to tell Kawana? I do. He needs to run. Far away. Public security has their sights on him. His capture is not a question of if, but when. He's in danger if he remains in the country. And once public security has him, they will extract everything he knows. You mean he'd be tortured? Yes. Somewhere well beyond the public eye. No one can withstand what they do. He'd tell them everything. And as for me... They would expose your vulnerability, making you their pawn. Most likely. They'd gamble away the taxpayer's money, and I'd never purge the corruption in the health ministry. I get that. But what does it matter? What? Because in my opinion, you need to turn yourself in. <laughs> you want me to admit to manslaughter? You think I killed a real man? I say he was less than one. Shinya Kawai. 
He was little more than a subhuman brute. And you saw it. You saw what that brute did to my son. I hated Kitakata Sensei. He was an incompetent teacher. An idiot who turned a blind eye to Mitsuru being tortured. But that changed when he suddenly showed up eight years later. And then he showed me that video. He said, every bully in that video, they deserve to be punished. That it was the only way to get closure. You took him up on it? But you of all people should have known better. True. You're right about that. I struggled with it quite a bit. It's an unconscionable act, no matter how deep your animosity runs. But Kitakata Sensei's words hung on. I couldn't get them out of my head. I saw for myself. I went to Kamrocha, where I'd heard Kuai was working, at a girls' bar. So you know, after Mitsuru jumped that day, Kawai came to me in tears to apologize. I hadn't seen him in all that time. If he'd frozen in place when he saw me, if he'd been the slightest bit apologetic, I might have been able to stay my hand. I take it he didn't do any of that. <laughs> right. He didn't even recognize my face. And that's hardly the worst part of it, actually. When he saw me, he took me for some bawdy cougar on the prowl for young men. If you got the cash, I'll show you a good time, he said. All those tears he'd shed years earlier were a farce. But I knew them. Deep down, I'd already known that. That was it. That was the moment I lost all doubt about killing him. And as for those other kids who bullied Mitsuru, they should thank me they didn't share his fate. But that's why. That's why I don't feel like I have any sins to atone for. Every night, every night, I pray he will wake up. What more can you ask me to endure? Kawana said something similar. But you think you can repeat all that? This time say it to her. Isn't that... Sawa-san? You and Kawana can congratulate yourselves. You got vengeance on a monster. But what you're choosing not to see is that your actions have consequences for her. It's vicious. I've seen this before. Justice for one at the cost of another. Someone innocent always pays the price. I won't... I won't just sit here and watch as history tries to repeat itself. This phone isn't being traced by anyone. So, if you have a change of heart, just give me a call before you turn yourself in. That's all I had to say. We're back. Right here, okay, Yagami-san? Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to Kawana. Need to tell him I met with Reiko Kusamoto. He's gonna be pissed, you know? Probably. He's gonna try to rip you a new one. That's true. So you might want to sit this one out. <laughs> you sure? Because I'll totally take you up on that. Scallops, least favorite food, Rakio pickles, interest, watching comedy, solo karaoke, talents, riddles, and skiing. Never would have guessed skiing.
Okay. Um. Hey. There's the case. I must have had to have been nighttime. All right. It's tight, dude. Lights up green at night. these guys hold on um all right so we're gonna go into this alley meet our next girlfriend potential and it will be see how she is the first two girls have been a little uh a little psycho 